Bafanaans came out in numbers to welcome Bafana Bafana home following a landmark showing at the Africa Cup of Nations. Coach Hugo Bross admitted even they were surprised by their performance in Ivory Coast. When we have the departure here in the airport five weeks ago or four weeks ago, nobody expected, nobody, even we, I think, because... Um, yeah, we went to AFCON and for many players it was the first time they were there, so it was something new. But game after game, uh, the confidence was there and, and yeah, when we won against Morocco, then we knew when we knew that we had a chance maybe to, uh, to reach a final. Brussels Chargers had to dig deep to make it onto the podium. Not even a confidence-denting loss to Mali in their tournament opener could sink a team that had become known as perennial underachievers. You could see, yes, we were sad, but after that the guy said we can still go out and go to the final and go all the way. That was the, the talk, that we can do it, even though we lost. So it just shows the resilience, the mentality we've got now as a team. We just need to keep going and keep um, fighting. Two of Bafana's next fights will be to gain entry into the 2025 edition of AFCON, as well as qualification to the 2026 FIFA World Cup. Our journey is going to continue. There is still another mission uh, ahead of us, and we must complete the task. Jordan also confirmed that players would receive bonuses for their third place finish at AFCON 2023. Shlonim Timkulu, Kempton Park.